Alright, so welcome back. Um, we're back with another video today. Uh, today is just going to be a little more of a, a normal video, just some gameplay uh, with Inzaghi, the guy I spoke about in my last video. If you haven't checked that out, I made a review on this guy. So make sure to go back and check that out. So today we're playing against, uh, just playing a regular online match. This guy's team is pretty nice. I missed out on this manager. It's actually a pretty good manager, Postacog Glue or something his name is. But it's very uh, balanced. And what I found is that uh, most of the 4-3-3 formations, it always works better when that single DMF is deeper than the other two. Because a lot of the 4-3-3 formations, the three midfielders tend to be in a, in a row, kind of flat. And uh, I don't know, it just feels a little, especially for me with manual switch, I don't prefer it. So yeah, I'm looking out for another 4, 1, 2, 3 manager right now. Hopefully uh, another one will pop up soon. But yeah, this is just going to be some gameplay and I will uh, keep voicing over whenever I feel there's something to say. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Okay, so just a quick defensive tip here. Uh, as I said, manual switch is all about marking the space with the DMF. So you can see here, like I am just trying to mark the space where I think now in this position, I know it's Beckham, there's only one pass to make to Fernando Torres. So we cut it out with Barrios. And that's probably 80% of manual defending, man. It's just using your DMF to mark the space, mark the center forward, use him just to screen the midfielders, uh, screen your center backs. And I think again in this position, look, use him, we intercept again, cut out another attack. So that's just a little tip on how manual switch and manual defending works. Uh, if you guys want me to make an entire video dedicated to manual switch, I can. And as I'm speaking, here comes the first goal. So let's look at that again. So not too much fancy stuff in this goal. I think just the main thing I wanted to highlight is this is the advantage of flexible positioning. Look, Salah tucked in here. So instead, Mateus acts like a winger and goes very wide. And look at the amount of space that he has now. And as I said, in this formation, your CMFs tend to attack a lot. So Mateus gets into a great uh, crossing position. And it's a great header from Van Basten. Uh, yeah, not too much to speak about that, but just a nice team goal. Right, this is just something I wanted to talk about here. As you can see, when I play the ball to Van Basten, he actually has a lot of space to make up. But look at how well he gets past that first man. And that's all because of the first time fake shot. And actually, let me give you guys, uh, a lot of you guys have asked how to perform this. So I'll show you. Okay, so unless you're very new to Pez, I think you should know what a fake shot is. But just for the sake of it, it's basically to perform a fake shot, you swipe. You flick your analog stick very quickly and tap shoot, right? If you just tap your analog stick and tap shoot, he'll do a standing fake shot like that. And if you're running and you flick your uh, analog stick and tap the shoot button, he will do kind of try to change the direction or cut behind with a fake shot, right? And it's very useful and you should try to implement this into your game. And first time fake shot is the same. You, you just perform the fake shot before the ball reaches the player. So that he does the first, uh, his first touch is a fake shot. And uh, why would you do this? Uh, as I said, it, the main advantage is 
that first touch gives you a lot of room to get past a defender so say a defender is in front of you you do that fake shot you've given yourself a yard of space which is sometimes what makes all the difference like if you look at the goal i scored in the game again like you can see uh, van basten is actually much behind the defender but that first time fake shot completely wrong foots for and gives him a yard of space and from that range van basten is lethal so that's why you should perform first time fake shots what's the best uh, kind of position to for perform a first time fake shot is something like this when the defender is very close to your striker and you just need that extra yard of space to give yourself a little bit of room and bang it in and you really should be practicing this because you can honestly turn like a hopeless situation into an amazing goal scoring opportunity so yeah uh, that was just a little um, kind of tip for tutorial on it's one of my favorite skill moves man and you'll see me use it a lot uh, it it takes a little bit of practice with the timing but once you've got it nailed down it is such a uh, advantage to have so yeah If I speak I am in in big trouble. So as you can see I'm pretty much in control of this game so far and then <laughs> I go and do this. Um yeah, I mean it is what it is. I can, I'm not going to cut it out. Uh I am human. We all make mistakes, but this is sometimes can be very costly. Thankfully in this game it wasn't and I was able to continue without it and there we go. The connection issues weren't uh, uh very pleasing either, but yeah, we move on. So yeah, not too much going on in the game, but yeah, this is why I said I love my wingers to have individual skills. I mean, Neymar, when he's in the mood, he can really put on a show. He can <laughs> take on the entire team by himself, man. It was just unlucky the keeper made a great save, but that really deserved to be a goal. Thank you.
So yeah, I think that's just about uh, all that happened in this game. No, a very interesting game, especially the second half. But the first half was fun and a couple of tips uh, that I could tell you guys. So yeah, I think that should be enough for this video. Um, let me know if you want to see more gameplay with Inzaghi or if you want me to show some of the other systems I use like uh, 4312. But yeah, apart from that, thank you guys for watching and hopefully see you guys soon.